Battle Royales in the late 2010s were absolutely blowing up. Everyone from the biggest developers to indie studios all were trying their luck in the genre to see if they could get their own hit. Hi Res was no different. In June of 2018, Realm Royale was released to the Steam Early Access program, eventually coming to PS4 and Xbox One a couple months later, and then Switch the following year. Originally, this game was actually known as Paladins Battlegrounds, which was a game mode for Paladins, but it ended up being spun off as its own game. While to many Realm Royale is another battle royale in the massive graveyard of battle royales, the game originally did have some hype around it, sporting over 100,000 concurrent players on Steam and even seeing some of the biggest creators play the game for a bit. Let's go, push, 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 push. Got one? Ah. I did him, yeah! even if they were most likely paid at the start. As of July 2018, the game had reached over 4 million players, and by July of the following year had reached over 10 million players, so clearly the game was experiencing some success. Quickly though, the game lost steam, eventually receiving what was its last update on July 4th of 2020, with support to be cut altogether on August 17th of 2020. I don't play Realm Royale because the game just didn't pick up viewers. It's weird, man. It's one of those things where... I mean, literally playing the game, it's a great game, but it just wasn't picked up on by the viewers. Like, all the top streamers on Twitch were playing Realm Royale, and their viewers were just dropped. And it's so weird, because the game, again, like I said, the game was actually fantastic, and it was and it was fun, and it was new. Realm Royale seemed to draw a lot of visual and gameplay inspirations from World of Warcraft, and even early on, could feel like a simplified version of early WoW PvP. The game even received pretty decent reviews, scoring a 7.8 on IGN. I understood that reference. Who really liked the complexity and layers of gameplay that Realm Royale provided that kind of differentiated itself from other BRs on the market. At the time of its launch, Realm Royale attempted to differentiate itself from the market with its fantasy setting that allowed it to create a mixture of complexity and unique gameplay in the form of spells, abilities, gear, crafting, classes, weapons, and more. However, unfortunately, as hi res would update the game, it seemed more and more of these unique systems were simplified or removed altogether. At launch, the game sported five classes, the warrior, the hunter, the mage, the assassin, and the engineer. Unfortunately, like I did mention earlier, Realm Royale seemed to lose steam pretty quickly, before eventually losing support like we talked about. This could obviously be due to a wide variety of things, some of which hi res would have no control over, like competition from other battle royales, or just having a smaller budget than some of those big AAA developers, but one thing that can definitely be attributed toward hi res was the poor choice in updates. Why? Earlier we talked about how the game attempted to differentiate itself from other battle royales in the market with its use of the class system, crafting, gear, etc, which really gave it this cool MMO-esque spin on the battle royale genre. However, over time, Hyrus stripped out a lot of these systems, seemingly to try and make the game easier to get into. They even completely deleted the engineer class and made all the other classes much less unique to each other as you can now mix and swap abilities between all the different classes in the game. The only thing that's set the classes apart at this point was the way that they looked, some various passives that you could set in the loadout tree, and the movement ability that you started the game with. Besides this, they were basically all the same. So while this definitely made the game easier to understand, it also stripped out what made the game unique and alienated a lot of the hardcore fans that the game had attracted early on. And unfortunately, Realm Royale never seemed to attract in that casual Battle Royale audience that I assume they were hoping for with these changes. Another big detriment to the game was the addition of bots to fill out lobbies, as this can make games feel a lot less rewarding and enjoyable to play. This one though is a bit understandable, as with battle royales, you need huge lobbies to fill out the games, 90 players in the case of Realm Royale, so introducing bots was probably a necessity rather than a design choice that they really wanted to make as the game continued to lose players. This all kind of snowballed together and led to the decline in player base, taking us to where we are today, where the peak player count on Steam in the past 30 days is barely over 1,000 players, a number which has only been in decline for a long time, which obviously makes sense since they publicly pulled support back in 2020. This, however, may not be the end of Realm Royale as we know it. While hi -Riz publicly pulled support back in 2020, there is a small team working on Realm Royale Reforged, which is actually playable on the public test realm today. I'm not going to go into all the changes here, but Reforged contains a ton of balance updates, new weapons and abilities, and more. To me, the biggest changes in Reforged 
forged are that the armor gear system will be returning and class locking is also returning. This is going to give Realm Royale back what made it unique and also make those classes play unique to each other once again, unlike the current live version of the game. They're also going to be aiming to reduce the amount of bots per lobby, though I imagine that'll probably depend on how well Reforged actually ends up doing. The current build that you can play on the test realm though is not the final build for release and basically the small team which is rumored to be only nine people has actually stated why they are doing a public test server and this is what they said. I want to first talk about why we are doing a PTS even though we're not talking about the game publicly until we are closer to release. Our team values feedback and player input. To avoid putting promises behind empty words we feel like a PTS that can have actionable changes before the build goes live is an important key to realm success. So basically they're just trying to get public feedback, see if people are enjoying Reforged, and kind of see where it goes. From the outside looking in, it's hard to know if Realm Royale Reforged really has enough oomph to bring the game back to the glory it once had. However, it is exciting to see the devs return the game to what made it unique, rather than chasing what you would maybe call the Fortnite audience. It's also important to note that while Realm Royale doesn't necessarily have a huge player base today, there are definitely a lot of people that had a connection with the game, so it's possible Reforged could attract a decent chunk of those players back. In the meantime though, you know why we're here and that's to answer the question. Alright, here we are playing some Realm Royale. We hopped into a solo game here. We're going to be playing the Hunter class, so once the little ship thingy gets ready to deploy us, we'll jump right into the map. All right, now as is tradition in a battle royale, we are definitely in a hot drop. Most likely we're gonna run into some bots here because to be honest, there are a decent amount of bots in these lobbies, but we're gonna see what we can do, see if we can get the crown royale or whatever Rome Royale calls their victories. So one thing that definitely makes Rome Royale unique and still to this day makes it unique is the forge system. You can gather the little crafting shards by disenchanting different things and then you can craft weapons, runes, all sorts of stuff. We see a person here, let's see what we can do. Oh my God, we kind of domed him. I absolutely despise the chicken mechanic. I think this is a bot 100%. <laughs> but there we go. We got our first kill. But so you can see here, you can disenchant this and then you can get the little shards that you can use to then go and craft different things. I like to craft the runes because they give you some pretty strong passives, but you can also just upgrade your weapon or craft different abilities and everything like that. One thing I will say about this map is to be honest, and you know, maybe it's my lack of playtime, but the map to me is a little uninspired. Like it has different biomes and everything like that, but... I just feel like I've seen cooler Battle Royale maps. Like you play like Apex or Fortnite or something. The map seems, oh my God, I can't talk and shoot. All right, hold on, we gotta kill this guy. <laughs> the map feels really unique, you know? Fortnite has tilted towers and, and all that stuff. In this game, it just kind of feels like I'm playing on a BR map. But don't get me wrong, there are these different sections that are definitely very different. There's like the Badlands section, the Greenscape section, Everfrost, Sanctuary, and these different sections of the map are very visually different. Even if, you know, to me, the layout still isn't really all that cool. But to be honest, you don't necessarily need the coolest map in a BR for it to be fun, you know? You can kind to focus on the gameplay and maybe that's what they were going for but we're gonna craft a rune here and we're gonna craft some extra pots too while we're at it a couple of those big changes that are coming back in reforged are obviously kind of locking those class abilities to make them more unique again and then also adding back the gear system which has different armor pieces that give different attributes and stats which is something that's been completely removed from the current live version of realm royale though if you played realm royale at launch you'll probably know what i'm talking about looks like there's some people fighting over here we're gonna see if we can third party this i'm gonna lead in with this this guy's using some melee ass shit i'm whiffing there we go i'm gonna roll in you gotta finish off the chickens so that they don't totally respawn on you then we're gonna see if we can figure out what's going on here i heard another chicken oh i think he clucked him before i got here shit oh, he just got back up ow Oh, fuck. I thought I was going to outplay him there. Run, little chicken, run. Run. He's, he's in hot pursuit. No. No. Leave me alone. Oh, my God. And that right there is the prime reason I fucking hate the, the chicken system. Like, I just ran away and ended up not dying, and he's gonna get back up here in a sec. There we go. 
All right. <laughs> Why do I still hear a chicken? Fuck. We're just in constant battle. Oh, we got him. There we go. Ooh, the revolver is pretty strong. So I actually like the crafting mechanic. I feel like it lets you kind of play toward how you want to play. But I do kind of dislike how you just have to sit now in this area for like 30 seconds to a minute sometimes, depending on what you're crafting, just waiting for all your stuff to get done. I, I feel like that can be kind of boring. This is probably aesthetically my favorite part of the map. I really like the purple mushrooms. <laughs> I just think they look cool. Reminds me of like a World of Warcraft region. Some of the areas are just kind of like boring and just have a bunch of different buildings, but this area is actually layout wise is kind of different. Dude, I do not know how to hit anything with this. Oh, look at that. They, they're rocking all the legendaries. Yeah, I can't use this at all. Oh God. Oh my God. He's melting me. Oh, come on. Come on. He's got to be. Oh, yes. We chickened him. No way. That chicken's not dead. There we go. I absolutely destroyed that guy. I wonder if he saw me. The answer to that is yes. Yo, they just died to the circle. Let's go. We won <laughs> nine elims first place. I'll take it. All right. We found a duos match this time, which will be a little bit different. I don't know how well this is going to go because we're just playing with some random person. We're even going to roll out the warrior class, which I really haven't played too much of. That's kind of what I mean when I say like them changing the way the class system makes them all pretty not unique because I had some passives that were set in my loadout. But to be honest, most matches, I don't even really play toward those specific passives. I kind of just pick up whatever abilities and weapons, you know, are the best ones that you can find. So I do think the reforge changes to kind of lock down the classes and make them actually feel unique again will be a positive change for the game all right we're gonna hop out here and just hope he comes with <laughs> i don't know if he will oh yeah it looks like he did good hello i'm here to assist you i got, got dumpstered one more one more shit shit nice nice good teamwork all right the other chicken though is still free Gotta finish this chicken off for sure. Oh my god, another team. Shit. Ow. Oh, I got chicken. Fuck. Are right, we back? Oh, my teammate's dead. One thing that's also kind of weird about Realm Royale compared to other BRs is you just have unlimited ammo with every weapon. It's kind of nice not having to scavenge for ammo, but it is definitely kind of a weird change. Oh my god, he domed me. Run, chicken, run. Oh my god, he's on top of me. Don't leave me alone. I'm a good chicken. I'm a good chicken. I'm a good chicken. No. No, leave me alone. Fog sets in. Holy shit, we're back. Oh my god. That is the biggest outplay of my life. And that is a key reason that I think the chicken mechanic is absolutely terrible. It's definitely unique, but uh, I think it can be pretty cheesy. If you've played Rome Morel in the past, you'll have to let me know in the comments below what your favorite class is to play. Oh shit. Whew. I got fucking scared. Oh God. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, I got outplayed. All right, guys, that's going to do it for Realm Royale. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed the video or if you're excited for Realm Royale Reforged or just tell me about some of your favorite experiences playing Realm Royale. Other than that, follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, all those good places, and I'll see you all next time.